to my channel. Today I'm going to do a look using six basic products. If you're a mature lady and you're looking to get into makeup, you may be overwhelmed by the options that are available. The options that you need versus what are nice to have. So I've taken out some of the guesswork for you and I thought today I would do a basic look using six basic products. So we're going to be using foundation, blush, bronzer, mascara, an eyebrow pencil, and lipstick. It can be done, it can be done. So if you'd like to see how it can be done, then keep on watching. So if you're just getting into makeup, the chances are you're going to be wanting a foundation that's very light. So you could use a tinted moisturizer. I have got some other options. There's the Garnier BB Cream. You could use the MAC Face and Body, which is very sheer and skin-like. Or you could use something like the Dior Backstage, which is also more like a tinted moisturizer. I'm going to be using the Garnier BB Cream. And I'm just going to apply with my fingers. So I'm just going to put a little bit onto my fingertips. And then just gently massage that all over the skin. Just to cover up any redness and uneven patches. Just give a light, a light covering. This is quite buildable, so you can always add if you want to. Just gives a nice, very natural finish. And then on to product number two. We're going to do eyebrows. So I'm just going to take a spoolie and just brush them up. And then I'm going to use a light eyebrow pencil just to fill in the gaps where the little bald patches. And um, I like to keep the brows quite natural. give them a little bit more definition and then the third product we're going to use is bronzer so I'm going to be using the physicians formula butter bronzer and this is a great bronzer it's very sheer you can't really overdo it which is quite nice so I'm just gonna put a little bit under the cheekbones and you'll see that this this is a great product just to warm up the face and just to add a little bit of a glow and it's multi-purpose as I'm gonna show you in a minute so we just take a light dusting you don't want to go overboard with this make sure it's blended out and then I'm just going to put some on my jawline just to sculpt that a little bit and you can also bring it down the neck and then I'm going to use this on the eyes as well we haven't got an eyeshadow today because I wanted to use the six products that we have so I'm just going to put a little bit on my Real Techniques shaping brush and I'm just going to go all over the lid with that and it'll just give some nice definition to the eye just something quite subtle you don't need to be precise at all because it just kind of melds into the skin but it does give you a nice bit of definition And then we're going to take a little bit of this down the side of the nose just to contour the nose slightly and 
and then on to the fourth product which is blush I'm going to be using a powder blush today I've got a lovely Inglot peachy shade which I've hit pan on I love this so much and then I've got an alternative as well this is the Mac peachy keen which is also a lovely fresh peachy shade and then I'm going to take a small blusher brush and this helps with precise application and just going to dip it dip it into the blush and then I'm just going to start at the temples bringing it in towards the apple of the cheeks and just blend it in with the blonde bronzer so that it's all seamless and then keeping it as high as possible as well because we want to create the illusion of lift I'm just going to go in on this side and I do like to apply blush with a smaller brush because it just gives you more control um, you don't end up looking like a clown and I just bring it slightly onto the apples of the cheeks as well and then because we don't have an eyeshadow what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my real technique shaping brush and I'm just going to dip it dip it into the blush and we're going to use that on our eyelids and this just creates a lovely warm defined eye again you don't need to be precise with your application which is really nice just a nice fluffy brush to just smooth everything out and it just gives you a very understated but defined look and it just looks like you've made a bit of an effort and then to define the lower lid I'm going to go back into the bronzer I'm going to use a tapered pencil brush and I'm just going to dip it into the bronzer and this is just going to give us a tiny bit of definition under the eyes very light and then if you like you can also take a little bit of this onto the lid close to the lash line just to define those lashes a little bit more this is a very light bronzer you could do this with something a little bit darker if you wanted a little bit more definition but I just really I love this bronzer because it is so smooth and it's sheer and it has the tiniest bit of glow it's really beautiful and then on to the fifth product which is mascara and I'm going to be using my favorite the max factor 2000 calorie and I usually go in with two coats of this so we're just going to lift the lid to make sure that we don't get any bleed onto the eyelid. It does happen when your eyes are slightly hooded and it is the bane of my life because to clean up afterwards is a real pain. So you just lift your lid slightly. the same thing on the other eye so I've applied two coats of that and then I'm just going to do the lower lashes with what's left on the brush and then the sixth product is of course lipstick and um, you can use anything you like, you can use something light, I've got two options here, the Clarence Lip Perfecting Balms, these are absolutely beautiful, um, 
today I'm going to use something a little bit darker because we've gone very neutral on the face and on the eyes I'm going to be using an Elizabeth Arden uh, this is a cross between a balm and a lipstick in red velvet and then finally I'm just going to go back in with the brush that I use for my bronzer and I'm just going to check that everything's blended just check that it's all smooth well that's a finished look if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave any comments in the description box and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.